Can't I? Uh, oh. Come in, Star. Come in. This is uh, Mrs. Easton, and this is Mr. Easton. Hello, Star. Hello. You remember me, don't you? Sure. I met you on the docks one day. You were going to buy some lobsters from me. That's right. Well, I guess you folks want to talk. I'll go on upstairs. Oh, please don't go. You see, we want to talk to you. What about? Star, do you remember my asking about that locket you were wearing? May I see it now? I... I haven't got it. Where is it, Star? I haven't got it. I see. Star, you keep the locket in the box over there, don't you? I think you'd better get it for us, Star. Why does she want it? Why does she look at me like that? Because this lady is your aunt, Star. My aunt? Your own kin, darling. I haven't any kin. You know that. I haven't anybody except you. Tell her to go away. I don't want anybody looking at me the way she does. I don't belong to her. I belong to you. Easy, easy, darling. Helm, steady now. Star, your aunt wants to take you to live with her. Through the providence of God, she's been led here to you. And she feels it's her duty to claim you in the name of your parents. I won't go with her. I've lived here ever since I can remember. She's got no right to make me leave. I won't go, do you hear? I won't go! Oh, Cap, why don't you say something? Don't you hear? They're trying to take me away. They have a right to you, child. A right to me? Is that all you have to say? Do you want me to go? Are you tired of me? Well, honey, I'm an old man now, a very old man, and an old man likes quiet, you see, and, well, I, I'd be quieter myself, and so maybe it's all for the best. You're lying to me. You never said anything like that to me before. You used to ask me all the time if I was lonesome here. All you thought about was me, and I'd tell you I'd never go away from you, and then you'd be happy, and now... And now... And now I tell you that I'm needing rest and quiet as suiting to an old man. I've kept you here for nine whole years, and what thanks do I get? What thanks for all the years of work I put in to bring you up decent, hanging on me and hanging on me. And if you want me to say it right out, then I will. I want you to go off with those folks and let me alone. Let me alone. That... That's the way you feel about me? I do. All right, then. I'll go. I'll go and I'll never come back. Never. Never. Oh, may God forgive me for the things I said to the child. May God forgive me. day. On the rocky beach near the lighthouse, Captain January stands looking out at the angry sea. All night long, he's walked the path between the rocks and the lighthouse gate. His hair is rumpled by the wind, his eyes bright and feverish. From the road comes Captain Nazro to stand quietly beside him. It's fixing up to storm. Aye. Glass been dropping all night. We blow in a gale by evening. Evening. They'll be coming for her then. They'll be coming for Star to take her away. January, I, I've been thinking things over. I was wondering if a little be mighty lonesome here for you for a while. Now, now, why don't you come into the village and and live with me? Live with you? It ain't, ain't much of a place, but it's comfortable, and the food's good. And who'd be taking care of the light? Uh, uh. 
Well, uh, the light will take care of itself. You see, uh, they're going to install automatic e equipment. What's that? Look here. This this telegram come last night. I'll let you read it yourself. On the 30th this month, automatic equipment will be installed in lighthouses 8, 9, and 10. Inform all keepers their services will be no longer required. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, Captain. Of course, there'll be a pension for you. <laughs> a pension? <laughs> no, there's a fine life for an active man like myself. <laughs> Living on a pension. <laughs> Easy, Captain. Easy. <laughs> Sitting in a soft chair, waiting for a check each month. <laughs> Nothing to do but wait and think. Easy, man. Easy, man. Uh, why? You're sick, January. You'd better come inside and lay down. I'm not sick. You're feverish, man. Come along. No! I can look out for myself. All right. I'll be in the village if you need me. Cap, I've been waiting all day for you to come back. What's the matter, Cap? I should... Aren't you going to speak to me? There's nothing left to say. I only want to hear one thing. You weren't telling the truth last night, were you? You really don't want me to go, do you? Please, Cap, I'm, tell me. I'm trying to do what's best. I know you didn't mean it. You couldn't. I don't believe you any more than you'd believe me if I said I wanted to go. It's not a question of wanting. Why isn't it? They can't take me if I won't go. The lock is the only thing that proves anything. And they can't find it. No one will ever find it. There's more than the locket, Star. There's you. And the way you came here, and he... Uh, oh, I can't explain it to you. I can't think somehow. It's it's all dark and misty. You mean I, I gotta go with him? Is that what you mean, Cap? Yes, Star. But not because you want me to go. You don't, do you? Wants you to go. Would I want the sun never to rise again? Would I? Oh, Cap. Cap. There, there now. There now. It's a fine life you'll have, darling. And I'll be coming to see you as often as they let me. Oftener, maybe. Ah, they're good people. Cap. What if they hadn't come up here? We'd go on living just the same, wouldn't we? You wouldn't be talking of a fine life then. We'd be happy just like before, wouldn't we? Yeah, but they did come. Then, Cap. Why don't we run away? What's that you're saying? You were always talking about going somewhere else. Why don't we, Cap? Just you and me. We could take the sailboat. Now, before they come, we could be off down the coast where no one would know us. Star, don't be saying such things. I can't think. I can't. I can't. I tell you, I can't I'll think. Put the food in the boat. We could sail for days and days. Oh, could... they'd find us. They'd bring us back. No, they wouldn't. Please, Cap. We'll be too late if we don't hurry. I'll get the boat ready now. We'll be gone before dark. It's the wrong thing, Star. It's wrong. It isn't wrong. And we're going, do you hear, Cap? We're going. Is everything aboard, Cap? All set. Get in the boat. Wait. I forgot about Imogene. I'll turn her loose and be right back. Hurry, Star. Steady. Steady. What are, you, what are you doing down here? Out of my way. I'm busy. You're going to take this boat out in a sea like this? I can handle any boat and in any kind of sea. Where are you going? I'm taking Star away down the coast. Don't be a fool. You can't do that, man. You're sick. Sick am I? You're raging with the fever right now. Or you'd never be thinking of such a thing. Get out of my way, I tell you. I won't. You're not leaving with that child if I have to knock you down and sit on you. Now get off this boat. Get off! You know, Nazra, you and me have had a lot of fights. But I always thought the town deep you were my friend. I am your friend. My friend! You let them come here and take Star from me. And you call yourself my friend. January, it's for the best. January, come up to the lighthouse. Let me go! Let me go! Or I'll brain you! Are you crazy, man? Stop it! Let him go! Stop it! What are you doing to him? Let him alone! Star! You're not leaving here tonight. We are. We're running away. And no one's going to stop us. You or anybody. Star, he's not himself. Can't you see it? The man's raving mad. He's a sick man, Star. Sick? Would he be taking a boat out tonight if he knew what he was doing? Let me go. Any boat. In any sea. We're ready, Star. 
We're ready. We're... Uh... What's the matter? Uh... Help! Stop. Uh... Go get the doctor. Quick. Is that all you can tell us, doctor? That's all, Mrs. Easton. He may pull through, and then again... Well, he's a very sick man. What about the little girl? I mean, her staying here. We don't want to take her away if... if it will have bad effects. It can't have. He's barely conscious now, and it might be just as well if she weren't here. I've already told her that she's to go with you. You'll keep us informed, won't you, Doctor? Of course. Shall we go, Laura? Where is Star? I've allowed her to see him for a moment. She'll be right down. I have to. But when you wake up, I, I'm going to try to be back. And don't forget, you're going to come and see me whenever they let you, and maybe oftener. And when you're not there, I'm going to be thinking of you, Cap. I'm going to be thinking of you all the time. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Oh, Star, I've been looking all over for you. Uncle Bruce will be back from New York soon. He'll want to see you. Yes, ma'am. Star, what's the matter? Nothing. Aren't you happy here, Star? You've been wonderful to me, Aunt Laura. I've never had such beautiful clothes and things. But that's not enough, is it? Oh, I don't mean it like that. I've had everything here. You and Uncle Bruce, why, you've been wonderful. You even took this beach house on account of me. Thinking it might make me feel better, and, well, it does, too, only... Star, dear, you don't have to explain it to me. I know how you feel. Have you... have you heard any, anything from Cap lately? Just that he's a lot better. You've been writing to him every day, haven't you? Yes. He'd answer, too, but, well, you know Cap. He isn't so strong on spelling. Aunt Laura, now that he's feeling better... Do you suppose we could go and see him sometime? Well, we'll have to wait and see if... Laura. Oh, there's Uncle Bruce. Come on, darling. He has a surprise for you. Hello, Laura. Well, Star. Hello, Uncle Bruce. Did you bring it, Bruce? I certainly did. Here, Star. Look out the window, down by the dock. Why, it's a boat. Like it? Oh, it's beautiful. It's almost a yacht, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty nearly. Come on down and take a look at it. Did you sail that from New York, Uncle Bruce? All the way. Started last night. It's also big, isn't it? Don't argue with me, you old rather brain. I've sailed something in every sea that was ever charted. Why, it's Cap! 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 Stop! 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 Me down and... Oh, Cap, I thought you'd forgotten me. Forgotten you? Would I forget the north from the south, would I? How did you get here? What are you doing? I'm captain of this craft. That's what I'm doing, and I'm the first mate. Captain Nelsro. Uh, he's the second mate. I said first mate. Second. The first. Second. First. Second. Oh, gee. But it's wonderful to see you fellas on good, good terms again. Oh. 